Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about using an app to help you tune your instrument. You're going to go to the App Store on your device, you're going to click search, you're going to type in free tuner app. Let's use this one. Okay. This one is titled INS Tuner Free Chromatic App. Alright, so now that we have our app downloaded, open. You need to make sure that it can access your microphone. So we're going to say OK. So two very important features you guys will notice. You have your letter here, the note that is being played, and also it's a little hard to tell, zero will be the octave. All right, so now we're in our tuner app. You need to make sure that four violins it says A4 for E. E5. D4 for D. G3 for G. Next we'll do viola. You used to say A4. So the yellow to the left means the string is low, you need to bring it up. If it's red, it means it's too high. And it also tells you, if you notice here, it tells you tune down, meaning you need to make the string lower. Next we have cello. It needs to be A3. Now you notice this says E flat 4. We don't need an E flat, we need a D3. So, letter E is after letter D, so the string is too high. So I will need to bring it down until it says D3. Try with the bow. So that's what the tuners should say when you tune your instruments. I will demonstrate tuning on viola. The principles and the concepts are the same for a violin or cello. The fine tuners can be located on the tailpiece and they correspond to the string that they adjust. 
this is A, this is D, this is G, this is C. Essentially, a fine tuner is just a screw. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if you turn the fine tuner to the right, it will make the string pitch go up. If you turn it to the left or counterclockwise, it will make it go down. I will demonstrate and you can see on my INS tuner app what it does. So first we check that we have the correct letter and the right octave. For viola we need A4. If the string is too high you notice I made it too high and now it says B flat 4. B is higher than A so we need to tune down. Now if it's too low you'll notice that's a G that's A flat we need A So if you watch me turn the fine tuner to the right, the pitch goes up. If I turn to the left, we do see the correct letter, D4, but you'll notice it's too high, so we need to tune down. I'm going to find the corresponding fine tuner for D. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise to make the pitch go lower. Turning it up. That's too much. Too much. The second way to tune a string would be with the pegs. Now you have to be very careful. It is very easy to over tighten the pegs and break the string. So you want to make sure you take your time. If anything is up with the pegs so you're not sure, we'll video conference and I will guide you through it to make sure that it's done properly. But here is the basic concept. If the peg gets loose, as often happens when the temperature and the humidity changes, you'll notice you have something like this. The string is loose and basically the peg is just loose. So the first thing that's important to do is to make sure that the pegs are fully in. Now you can grab with both palms of your hands. You can very carefully with touch, without touching the scroll, if you tighten the peg against the scroll it's very easy to bake this. You don't want to do that. So you can with both of your palms push the pegs in make sure that they're all pushed in. Then, basically, if you turn the peg away from you, it's gonna go up, and if you make it go down, it's gonna go lower. Each peg corresponds to the string. This is a viola, so we have A string as the highest. We have A string as the highest. D string, G, and C. So, A5 tuner, A string, will follow to the A peg, which would be the one to the right, closest to you. D string is on the right side, away from you, the farthest, the one that's next to the scroll. G string is the one that's closest to the scroll and the one to the left and closest to you would be C string. So I'm going to pluck and you're going to hear 
Notice how that got loose very quickly. So then as you turn, you'll notice I didn't turn this very much and it went up to its proper tune. All right guys, so those are the basics of tuning. You can use the INS free chromatic tuner app to tell you what note you're playing and whether you need to go up, down, or you're good to go. Also how to use the fine tuners and how to use the pegs. We'll see you on Google Classroom.